By the way, my Udi says. What's Udi saying? If you are reading this, you don't fuck up. So yeah, um, shout out to Queen Depiction for this suit or for this um, hoodie. You know they sent it to me. Um, shout out to you guys. I love the hoodie. Real comfortable. Really nice stuff. You know what I'm saying? So uh, today we have Orezi and Hey Kiki's in the building. No feel like gang. You know how we do it. Alrighty, alright, 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 alright. Today, middle event um, would be sharing recharge cards for um, a couple people. So please stay tuned. Follow middle events. We will be checking out those who are following to win recharge cards. Tell you thank you for always tuning in. So um, my shades also customized and wooden by the ways. It's from Beliza underscore NG, you know. So everyone sending me stuff, you know. Thank you so much. Mo love it, you know. Mo joy in your somehow, you know. And to those asking for my skincare routine, I've seen two people ask, you know. Um, it's called T Aisha Cosmetics. Which one should I wear? This or this? This? Okay. So a little judge is Shout out to Remy's Wall for coming through. Love you so much. Thanks for sponsoring our lockdown radio. Shout out to Paula Guru. I see you. Thanks for sponsoring also. Um Shout out to Williams underscore NF. He sponsored our giveaway with ten thousand error. Big boy. I love you, my G. <laughs> Personally styled by the one and only amazing as it's called Dio. You see how I look dope, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Dio. Air styled by Williams underscore NF. Shout out to B Bola, my G. I see you, I see you, I see you. Hey, Miga, Selma, all the way from Australia. Jaden, I see you. Alamiko, I see you. Taiwo, I see you. Shout out to everyone. Shout out to Stella. Be always here, here and here out. Hey, Fiona. Shout out to you. Shout out to Fumi Craft. I see you, baby. Ooh. Ella Ross, Simply Proceed. Let's make wave. Yo, guys, man. Follow Let's Dot Make Dot Waves. It makes all the cool designs you see from Lockdown Radio. It's here behind the camera. I did. Is this mine? I can't see. Okay, he's not smiling yet. <laughs> but yeah, man, so uh, let's do something real quick. Let's give people a charge card. So send in a request. Um, we'll ask you a few questions. If you get four out of five, four, four out of four questions, 
you win yourself recharge card. So send in your request. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Send in your request. And um, I'm selecting. I'm selecting few people, you know. Okay, we have five requests now. Two requests now. Three requests now. Eight requests. Let's wait for Lua for 2020. Boo boo Kareem! Shout out to you, my boo. If you don't have light, like I said, please call through. We don't really care about that as long as you're able to vibe with us. Hey, what's good, man? Dami 20 on 20, how are you? I'm fine. Oh, Good daddy. Okay. I'm fine. I know you're always tuning in every time for our session. I've seen you, I think, six or seven times. Yeah. Yeah. Drop questions. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you two questions. Yeah. So I'm going to, instead of asking you, I'll ask you two questions. How many episodes have we had for Lockdown Radio? How many episodes have we had for Lockdown Radio? How many episodes have we had for Lockdown Radio? How many episodes have we had for Lockdown Radio? How many episodes have we had for Lockdown Radio? How many episodes have we had for Lockdown Radio? How many episodes have we had for Lockdown Radio? Okay. Oh, Coco by Chloe. Yeah, Molly. Shaoma. Officer. Six. Seven. 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 Coco by Chloe, Kiki, Tomike, um, Mr. Marconi, um, what I mean, I mentioned the Emily, Officer Woods. I mentioned the other time, I think it's 10, but... Alright, 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 all right, all right, all right. we had Kiki on the episode 1 of Lockdown Radio. Kiki was our very first guest for yes. Lockdown Radio, followed by Rose, followed by Coco by Chloe. But, um, yeah, shout out to you. Second question, second question, second question. Um, uh. What did you say? I'm asking the second question. What's the second question going to be? Okay. You will too. Okay. Okay. So name two, name two people that have won twice on the lockdown radio. Two people that have won twice. The few on that for NS. I'm fighting with him. She's cute, I think. They are fighting with me. They are collecting money. She's cute. All of wait, she's cute. No, there's this girl. Yeah, lifestyle girl or something. I've forgotten her Andrew. She won. Come back next time. Please send your number to my DM. Crediting you, which network you use? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you personally. The style, the crew, and everyone here loves you. Thank you so very much for tuning in. All right, send your number and the network to charge you. All right, bye. All righty. Okay, let's get into the motherfucking building. Hey, hey, hey. Lago, 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 lago. Orezi is in the building. Shukem. Slap me that shocky. Slap me that shocky. Hey! Orezi on the microphone. Yeah, Orezi on the microphone. Wow. Hey, hey! Put the music on repeat. Hey, hey, what? Hey, 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 we are yeah. glad to have you here, so let's jump right into it. Um, I'm going to introduce you for like a minute, you know, then you would introduce yourself, um, right. you know. So, Orezi, funny thing, his name is Alan. When I found out, I was like, what? His name is Alan? Uh, Alan. Alan. Alan from where? Where? Like, how did we get to Alan Avenue. Alan Avenue. You know, so, yeah, his name is Alan. Um, you know, he's from um, 
But funny thing about Rezi is Rezi has been doing music for a very, very long time. You know, he's one of the OGs. You know, before IG in the music industry, he's had over about yeah. 20 singles, you know, done EPs, shot sick videos in South Africa, you know, he's done so many amazing stuff. And, you know, we can't take that away from him. Already he's from Delta State, you know, so um, I basically know Rezi is, a, is, is, is an artist, you know, so if there are other things you know, that you do that are not aware of, just, you know, give us a brief introduction, your name, you know, what you do and all of all that stuff, then we'll jump right into the program of today. Okay, other things that people don't know. I think you basically said everything. The other thing people that don't know, people that are close to me, that like me, I'm a sucker for TV. Oh, I can, yeah? I can watch yeah, I can watch television 24 hours. Like the few times my parents beat me up while I was growing up was because of television. <laughs> you know that? You know when they say, go and sleep, go and sleep. And you say, okay, daddy, I'm going to bed. And you go and sleep. When everybody's asleep, you now come back on the TV, off the light, reduce the volume, Stop and I'll be watching TV. <laughs> They will not come out and catch you. <laughs> so besides that, yeah, um, yeah, TV. I love spaghetti. Ooh. Yeah, and I know how to make good spaghetti. Really? I did catch woman. I did catch woman with my spaghetti. If I cook spaghetti for woman, it's a trick. Okay, I can't make spaghetti, and I don't watch. TV. <laughs> but more importantly, I mean, shout out to Rezi. Rezi, real quick, want to play a game you know, just to get you ready for this session. It's called Song Association. Now, what we do is we'll give you a particular word, right? And then you sing a song that has that word in it. Okay. <laughs> so currently on our leaderboard, we have 15 over 15 for Yemoli. We have 14.5 14. by Sydney Tucker. We have 14 uh -huh. for um, Macaroni, you know. So, but the, the, the lowest uh -huh. is 10 over 15, which is Tauma. So now let us see how good your music, you know, game is. You know, uh, I know you're good in the kitchen, obviously. You know, you're good in the living room. Let's see if you're good in the studio, too. So let's go real quick. Uh, <laughs> then we'll go to other places that you know you might be very great at, but let's just get down to what is important. So, I'm yeah. Brown. Okay, so um, the first one is... Um, hold on, please. Okay, so, okay, we're good to go. Um, the first one is Nepa. 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 Yeah. He do not up now. One. Up two, Nepa. <laughs> three. Four. Five. Nepa. Yeah. Six. Nepa, seven, give us light to Fubarino yeah. Nepa. Nepa, give us light to... What's up, Nepa. <laughs> eh? There's no song like that. Nepa, don't bring light to... Nepa, don't bring light to... Hey! Hey! Yeah, hey! Yeah, hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, zero over uh, one. Let's get it going. going. <laughs> Let's get it going. Zero over one. Let's see if you're going to claim your throne here. Yeah? Or you're hey, going to Tauma. Where Tauma is right now. Um, <laughs> let us see. Booty, booty. I love that booty. I love Ooh. that booty. Let that booty bounce. Let that booty bounce. Make a booty bounce. Make a booty bounce. Make a booty bounce. <laughs> All right, let's go. One over two. Number yeah. three, Rihanna. Lega. Rihanna. Uh -uh. Oh, Rihanna. Nah. Hey, I want to take you to my mama. mama. Rihanna, na na, hey, hey. you got me screaming, oh na oh, na na na. I don't want to give you two, two, two. Make you just do okay. Two over three. Okay, let's mm. go. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're good. We're doing fifteen. So you're on two over three right now. Um, uh, now let us get down to so, to other ones. Sunshine, sunshine, sunshine. Yeah. Sunshine. Every time you pass me by, Joe, Joe, Joe is by Joe Thomas. Sunshine, good girls. Good, sunshine. Why our world is good, girls taking that same song, the verse. Sunshine by Joe. Who? Every time you pass me by, Joe. Okay, Joe, Joe Thomas. Thomas. Sunshine. Okay, great. Yeah. Badass. Joe Thomas. Three Oscar. over four. Let's yeah. go. Okay. Uh, Mary, Mary. Marry. Yeah. Like, now me go marry you. 
Nami go marry him. Hey, 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 I suppose, I suppose to marry to you. Hey, oh, hey, Nami hey. go marry him. <laughs> if you know that song in the comment section and you're not married, oh oh, you might need Zaki Azay. Four <laughs> over five, right? Okay, good. Yeah. Um, let's see. Raindrop. Raindrop. Just like raindrop falling from the sky. Super bad. Let's go. Yeah. Five yeah, over yeah. six. Orezi is on fire. Let us see. Beautiful. Beautiful. Your way to beautiful girl. Hey. That's why we six can over never seven. Yeah. Six over seven. Okay. Let us see. Let's switch the game a little bit. Oh, no. Let's see, give it money. 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 Yeah. Money. Oh, ring me up. You're jacking low. Hey, give me the money. Because hey, you know, badness. This is an actual scores now is seven over eight, right? Seven over yeah. eight. Okay, everyone here is rooting for you backstage. Um, yes, yes, let's go. Let's go. Um, baby, 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 baby. Yes, baby. There are plenty of baby now. Baby, you know that I miss you, I know that I want hey. you. Hey, okay, that's eight over nine. Uh, sexy, 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 sexy. Hey, sexy lady, I want you in my life. That's, hey. that's, 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 that's nine over ten, right? Nine over ten. Sexy okay, mama. Good. Oh, yeah, got your mama. Oh, yeah, got your mama. Okay. And um, I give you two. I'm giving you two on one. Two on one. Nine over ten. Nine over ten. Um, water. 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 I did, I know water, but they think of a normal fella on the water. You know that you don't get that in. Hey! Water, okay. Come on. Ten <laughs> over eleven. Let us take one. Um, cooking. 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 Let me get that one now. <laughs> Let's Who can uh, reach for the cooking pot? Yeah. Come on. I won an award with that one. So I collect best video. By the way, you won um, best video for I think best video of the year. Yes, after my 2018. Yes, 2018. 2018. Shout out to you, by yes. the way, multi award winner. So the scores now is 10 over 11. We have four more words to go to know if you're truly the champion of this game. Yeah. So, um, help, 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 help. Yeah. Help. Yeah. Help. Yeah. Help. Help. Ten. Help. Nine. Help. Eight. Seven. If you see my mama, Hosanna, tell him so. Help me, no, did <laughs> Help me tell us. Five. If you help me see Diego, they could tell us. Hey! Come on. Come on. Okay, 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 okay. Eleven ah! on the floor. Oh, but that was Next. tough. Ah, Eleven on the floor. That was okay. lost. No way. Okay, that was dope. That was dope. That was dope. Gunshot. 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 Yeah. Acorn. 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 AK. Gunshot. Gunshot. Hey, hey. Okay, so that's twelve over thirteen. Uh, yes. Because, 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 because you love me. Because. Mm -hmm. Selling yeah. John. Because. Uh, sing it now, Selling John. Selling now, John. Be because you. Because Ten. you love me. Because. Nine. Because you love me, Selling John. Yes, accurate. Yeah, Correct. Because you love me, Selling John. Because you love me. I can't remember the first part of the song, but that's like that's because you love me. No, 13 over 14. Sorry, that's 13 over 14. Okay. Yes. This is a little bit of because playing. Yeah. For all those, for all those days you let him lie. 
I was a big selling job fan, so no worry. We don't use the lyrics okay, to those girls that We don't use the lyrics to our girlfriends. Thirteen over fourteen, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, one more, then we go. Um, uh, dance, 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 dance. Ten. Nine, Wait, who remember this song? Oh yeah, dance, le 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 le. Hey, 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 I think that's the sneakers we've had for many artists on this live session. Mm. So uh, 10 over 15 already is the, is the, no, it's not the way, no, 14 over 15, sorry. Yeah, so it is now Yemuli, Sinitoka, Orezi, Kiki, Officer Woz, Macaroni. Okay, music so there's no to 15, pop. There's no 15, 15. 15, 15 is Yemuli, 15, 15. Now only I'm going to get 15. Ooh. Followed by Sinitoka. Oh, why now? I suppose they 15 15. I know already that first one will uh, just catch me. We go a pill out. We go a pill out. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. We go a pill out. But now, mm -hmm. so we're doing a little bit of, um, you know, you have you had um, a very, very, you know, interesting music career from, um, yeah. you know, from dropping Jamilaya featuring the Jam Jam in 2010, you know, to Rihanna in 2013, to Booty Bounce, to a whole lot of songs, you know. And now you have one with Tenny. So I would just, um, you know, as a bad guy that I am, I'm just gonna play, you know, one or two few songs from your discovery. Oh, yeah. You know, from your discovery. Take it back. Take Let's it take back. it back. Let us hear the song that stopped the world in 2014. You know what song that is? Yeah. Do you know what song that is? Do you know what song Ugali. that is? 2014, you gave them a day. Let us give them, and also you've been giving them crazy videos from day one. Yeah, videos yeah, have always been your strong point. I'm very part. particular about video. Ah, this one. <laughs> By the way, way, one of our cast in the studio was in this video. William, he was in this video in 20. Are you serious? Who's that one? Hey! Come on! Yeah. Hey! Put the music on repeat. Hey! Hey! Eh? Eh, mommy and daddy. Let's go. Now, let's discuss Chucky. <clears throat> now, you yeah. know, this, this was one song that literally, um, I mean, you've been, there's been a resin way even before Chucky, you know, Rihanna and other songs, you know. But this Chucky yeah. solidified that you were the actual, you know, club banger, you know, that because every year, you know, you always have that particular song. Now, what was yeah. the process in creating this Shoki like? And when you created, you know, there was another version of Shoki, you know, that was also enjoying then, you know. So what was what what was in your mind during the creation process of this Shoki song? Okay, yeah, Shoki, yeah, Shoki has like a very unique story, yeah. You see, Shoki, oh, yeah. I met Shoki in February, in February, that in February 2014, and you know, let me just say this to everybody that's listening and watching this live video right now. Don't procrastinate. Procrastination is the killer of time. Procrastination Damn, word, affected me in 2014. the killer of time. So I had this song recorded in February 2013. And I, my friends were telling me, release this song. First of all, I didn't like the song, but I sent it to my brother and I sent it to my friend. My friend said that this song is hot already. And because my biggest song then was Rihanna, then Fine Girl, yeah, yeah. You Got It. They were like fresh type of vibe. Shocking was like a street. So like, this is not my style. They're like, yo, bro, this song is banging, I swear. So I said, okay, I was going to release the song, but I wanted to wait to my birthday, which was March 28th. You get me? So they were telling me, release this song. Ah, this song, by release. I said, no, I'll go to release on my birthday, my birthday. Bro, 27th, Lucas dropped Shocky. Damn. 27th. Damn. I had to, 27th morning, as he dropped on my friend, comes out already, you see. They don't sing Shocky. I tell you, I tell you they don't sing Shocky. I'm like, hey, you know, but 
I see when I had to drop mine the next day, which is my birthday, like everybody danced. I dropped it on the 27th night. I dropped it immediately. So it doesn't look like maybe I went to go and copy. You went to record it after. Understand? So I just put it out. And, you know, everybody loved it. It became a hit across the country, you know. But across like I said, the globe. Across procrastination. The globe. If you got an idea, you got the dream, go for it. Because you don't know if the next person is thinking about the same thing that you're thinking try and educate don't be wasting time for no reason it has affected a lot of people's career it has affected mine for sure you know so i'm just putting that out there so that's that's how i miss i went into the studio producer gave me the beat i listened to the beat one time the first thing that came to my head on that song was allergy or resi you know until today they call me allergy everywhere i go allergy to the <laughs> Second song, you know, in your discography that I love was 2012. But let's just show you like some visuals, you know, so you know you've been a bad guy from day one. You don't need us to remind you, but you know, just soft reminder to let you know that you know you've been here for a while and you should be here for a longer time. Hey, this song, yeah, it was one they call Shino Rambo. Face Switch was in the video. <laughs> Half of Mohit was in the video then. Yo, that was a crazy jam, you know. And I one thing I always. One thing that always you know surprised me is Orezi will drop a song and it would not fail to do a video for it, you know. No matter how basic the song is, no matter how bad, you know, you always invest in videos. Why exactly do you um so that that's how that fact that you have about 15, 20 videos that I can play you know, on my laptop right now, you know, and they are always yeah. even if you play it now, they are still great quality. So that's what it means that that's what it means, you know, you invested a whole lot of money in it. Why were you always you know, investing in videos for all of the songs? Yeah, because to me, you know, music is an art. So I feel like when you create a sweet or when you create the music, you want to put life to it. Putting life to a song is putting visuals to it. Okay, but if you want to see who's behind the song, how it looks like, how do we dance to this song, how do we move to this music? So th those things are can only come to life through visuals. So I feel like visual is like a representation of the creative process in the studio. So without the visuals, I feel like you leave the fans a little bit lost. You understand? So every time I make a record, while I'm even making the record, I have an idea, at least 60, 50% idea of how I want the visuals to look like. You get me? So I feel like visual representation of it is what gives the music like life. So, you know, so, now we've, so now we've gone, you know, we've gone through 2014, 2012. I'll play 2013, then I'll jump to 2019, 2020. You know, just let them know yeah. that you consider your craft you know, then we'll discuss band back and forth a little bit you know, play some games then you know mm. on. yeah so let us let us just look at this. <laughs> okay this is, this is not booty bounce but yeah, this yeah, song yeah, but I with it. hey I said they call me a razzy One of my favorite songs ever, man. One of my favorite already song. This is my favorite already song too. You know why? Because um, the song was not just your average kind of old Nigerian artist, you know, dropping a song. It was yeah. intentional. Even down to the video, you know, you found someone that looks like Rihanna, you know, in the video. And I think mm -hmm. it was shot in South Africa, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure the essay. You know, you found someone that looked exactly like Rihanna, you know, just to pass across the message. Now, two mm. questions I'll ask about this song is when you dropped already, um, when you dropped um, Rihanna, right? Was it a life changing experience for you? If yes, how was it a life changing experience for you? Yeah, it was a life changing for me. It was a life changing experience because when I dropped the song, everything changed for me, man. Everything changed because I kept, I kept having people from all across the world reaching out to me saying, Who's this dude? You know, especially when I dropped the video. When I dropped the video, I got people messaging us from Jamaica, from the Caribbean, you know. 
A lot of people didn't even know I was Nigerian when I dropped the song. Nigerian. A lot of people didn't know I was Nigerian. They, they just saw like, who's this black dude? So when I even go to Nigerian radio, Nigerian TV station to drop the video, they'll be like, some of the president be like, ah, so you're Nigerian. Where have you been? We don't see you around. I, I like, you know, because back then, I used to always shuttle Nigeria and South Africa. So I was not always in the country. So a lot of people didn't even know that I was Nigerian. So this song changed my life. I was just a street boy in Ogba, Okira. I got nominated for Channel o Awards, you know, on merit, you know, flew to SA. They flew me in to SA, went for the award. I didn't win, though, but it was a great experience. So, you know, this song was what brought all this to me, exposed me to the, to the big media from Channel O TV to MTV Base. You know, the YouTube view was going. That was like my first song that, get, that had two million you know, views on YouTube back then. So the song just blew up, changed me. I, I got booked for shows, you know, so it was a changing experience for me. That was the song that actually put me out there. Okay, so um, then it was produced by Kido Minant, you know, and it's arguably yeah. said that all of, or most of like your major songs were produced by Kido Minant. So, and I think yeah. your, like, your, your last two songs weren't made by Kido Minant, you know. So mm. what you feel, do you feel to an extent um, Kidominant's um, 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 absence in your creative process, you know, is um, is also like a reason as to why you're not able to um, always constantly drop songs, you know, or you feel like, oh, I mean, with or without the entire Kidominant process, you know, your song is going to be accepted generally by Nigerians. Yeah, I, I, Kidominant, we had like a good run because we were virtually staying together at that time, you know, oh, yeah? staying with me, so we wake up to make music together, you understand? So Kidominant was it was more like a, a rookie producer then. So my, I was one, the one that was financing. I, I made his hands strong, so to say. Because yeah. I was always putting him through. When you make a beat, go this way, do this way. So he became very confident. His confidence grew while he was with me. He became more of a confident producer. If that makes it. So, but him not being around, I don't think... It, because the conditions that were there are not around now. You know, music, making a hit is a lot of process from your PR to your finance to your budget. We had like budget then. I was in the big record label that had money to push. But I've been solo for a while, pushing things on myself. So the absence of Kido is not the reason why probably the songs are not as big as they were before. Because if you put me up with an upcoming producer, we're still going to make a hit. Definitely. So, but what defines a hit are all these other factors, your PR, the budget, the push, the budget, how much, yeah, how much you are owning the media space from TV to radio and the internet. And so that's just basically what it is. So um, it's safe to say um, the influence level you were in under then, you know, had on your music, you know, is, uh, is actually very essential because then there was, let's say, there was a lot of money to throw around, you know, but now it's just yeah, you there was budget. You know, was budget. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I mean, I can imagine, I can imagine how. Um, financially exhausting that would be, you know, but you are able to get things done with or without the label. So you dropped this particular song this year, featuring Tenny. How are you doing? So we're going to slam this, key up the song, we're going to slam it soon, but um, so I want to ask, Tenny is like one of the most sought after, you know, um, artists, either male or female, yeah. you know, from, from our I'll say from our class of 2018, 2019, you know, so how are you able to get Tenny, you know, to be on this song, you know, what was the creative process like? She's very funny and I love her, I respect her, you know. So how were you able to, um, you know, fight with her? How were you able to get Tenny, you know, to be and also jump on this song? Uh, Tenny, Tenny is a great artist, I must say. You see, you know, you don't, you hear a lot of stuff about people when you've not met them and you just probably want to go with that yeah. gist that you know. For Tenny, for Tenny, I was in America, and she was in America also. Then she came to Dallas, where I was at that time. So when I heard she was in Dallas, I'm like, oh, Tenny is in Dallas. I'm like, oh, I want to make a song with Tenny. We'll we find a way to hook up. So I called my friend that's part of the, um, like, part of his crew. He was part of, like, Tenny's crew. was starting our competition. And he said that Tenny is, is in so, so, so place. So I drove down there, me and my friend. We hooked up with Tenny. We had, like, a good chat. I'm like, Tenny, how far that we go make we go that? About a bit there, but, you know? Like, okay, I, I go to this place tomorrow, sure. I went the next day. We went there. We went the studio. He had, like, a, a, a producer there. Guy okay. started cooking up some beats. Yo, you see that thing Tenny writes on a, I think it's on a, on a bio, on Instagram, I won't take God. I won't take God. Don't be lying. The moment this guy dropped the beat, 
me and Tony were together just freestyling, then we came up with the chorus. Tony just took on the microphone and just went, hello, ma, from top to bottom. One, one take till date. One time. One take, one time on the microphone. Damn. One time he went in. I was like, man, you know, I was seeing like a female, Tony is like the female one they call, because one they call is like a great freestyler. So I was yeah. seeing like a female version of one they call in her. She was just freestyling. Just once on the mic, and to, I took that vocal. That was the vocal I took back to Lagos to cut, chop, and screw to, to just arrange on the record. She didn't come back to sing nothing again. Just that one take is what I is. She's too fucking talented. Like, I've, I've not seen in a while any female artist wow me the way that she did that day when we were working. So big shout out to Tenny. Also, the video shoot. Tenny got to location before me. She was on set. Great before that most Nigerian artists don't have. I'm yeah, sorry to like, say that, you know, but most of so when, when anybody wants to come to me and tell me that Tenny is this, she's proud of that. I'm like, man, yo, if she's that to you, probably she, she doesn't respect. You get what I, you I don't know. Basically. Yeah, yeah. You, get, you get what you give, you understand. So, so I think there's a high level of mutual respect between the both of us. She was, I was surprised when they told me, the director told me that Tenny is here, you know, never there. Like, Tenny is there. I'm like, yo, I dropped down, like, ah, no. <laughs> And I saw like, yo, babes, bless up, man. Thanks for showing this love. So anyway, Tenny, shout out to Tenny. I love you, man, it's too much. I can't shout wait for you guys to see the video. We love you. I can't wait for you guys to see the video, by the way. The video should be out like a couple of days. On Monday, drops on Monday. Couple of days, okay. Couple of days from now. Um, let's, let's just, you know, slam that um, Tenny between, arrest between Tenny for, you know, few seconds, then we move to, um, what's the name, we move to the next jam. You know. Uh, <clears throat> hey, let go. Volume. Hello, my baby. How are you doing? Hey, hey, come on. Let go. That song. That song. So there is something I don't know. Tenny has been singing, you know, some sort of songs of late about a body being on the road, ten seconds on the Yomi, and all of all those things. I hope I hope all is well in paradise. You know, that is uh, a. <laughs> you know, <laughs> now everyone has seen you to be the bad boy of the Nigerian music. You know, like or, of Nigerian music scene. You know, or already bad boy. And you have gone ahead to you know show that you are not scared to you have a great body by the way. And you've gone ahead to show that you are not scared to I mean you are not you are not shy of it. You're going to flaunt your body however way you want it. Ah. You know, so let me tell you why. Yeah, man, because there is a particular picture. Ah. Or else I don't even know if I'm <laughs> Somebody called the police. Police, exactly. You were literally nude, you know. Then someone said, um, someone asked a question. Now, in, 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 um, in relation to this, do you have, um, like, uh, do you, do you have much say, you know, in your, um, in your creative process, you know? Do you say, oh, you know what, I think I want to go nude. I think I, like, I want to do this. It would attract more, you know, more audience. For, like, for my video, this is what I want to be like. Or just let the director do everything you want to do. Why you just act as, oh, I'm already, let me do whatever they ask you to do. Because the question says, do you have input in the process, in the creative process of your videos? Because they are always dope, irrespective of who shoots it. Um, I'm always neck deep in every creative process from the songwriting, music making, even to the visuals, the video. If you see me or say when I'm shooting the video, once I when they say action, I shoot, I'm, I'm in front of the camera, I come back behind of the camera again to say, Alpha, how that should be. I think we should go like this. So I'm like 100% in. The creative process, hundred percent in shooting. I'm hundred percent about my creativity. I think of the idea, I share it with my with my team. You understand? And I go for it. So I'm I always a big contributor to the process, the full process from the making to the end product. I'm always a big part of it. I don't shy away from it. I'm always involved, hundred percent involved. Okay, great. So creating creating this particular um. Um, but I'll call it body of work because it's a lot of work going on on this body. That's art. So what? Art. 
yeah art yes yes great so you know what was it like was it just i mean because I mean, already basically going naked, you know, to shoot in front of a team of people. I would have, I would not have expected that to happen. You know? So, what was it like for you? Did you see that it wasn't a problem? I mean, you're an artist, so this is what expected. So, or just so like, I got to the studio. I was in the studio. Amazing clip. The guy who shot that photo. So I was in the studio and I told him the idea before I came, and he was like, "Ha, <laughs> ha, you want to? You really want to go there?" I said, "Yeah, let's, let's you know." You know, let's do something different. Like, let's do something different, you know. And I got to the studio, and I, he got all the props, the telephone, everything. I told him, I want the telephone gold. I want me, my skin tone to almost look like gold. You know how you gold. do your Photoshop and your whatever. But this, how, this is the look I'm going for. So I got to the studio, and I was tying the towel with nothing inside. And there were people, I'm like, yo, are you all right? Tell us people to go away. I only want to be seen the photographer. What's that one? Uh, <laughs> everybody should leave this. Everybody should. Everybody should leave this place. They were like, ah, okay, okay. They said everybody should leave this place. So I said, yes, everybody should leave this place. Ah, what's that? You wanted to wait behind and see an RG or Rezzy. Yeah, I said, I don't want to see my dollar. <laughs> so what's that? I said, no. So he gave me the phone. I was holding the phone. The moment I took the towel off, I put the phone there, covering the. You understand? I put the phone there. And I said, take your picture quick. Take your picture quick, oh. And he took picture. What's your picture? Your, what you and like, like, oh, oh, guy? Like, ah, but I will never get him. I said, yo. Ah, yo. <laughs> so when we took the pictures, when we took all the pictures, he, he told me to come and check them out. Like, yeah, I want to see them. Me and you alone. All your laughter, everybody. I looked at all the pictures. Then the one I didn't want, because he had like, 40, I'm like, you can't have 40 of my naked pictures on your laptop, bro. So this is the one that I want. Delete everything in my presence. Now, it deleted everything. I went to his uh, bin on his laptop. I, I clicked delete again. Delete. I said delete everything. Cycle. Yeah. Great. And, and you know, it came, out, it came out looking good. It came out looking good. People people went crazy on the internet. You know. Oh, yes. Blogs everywhere. Everyone. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I said, where is it? So this is where you don't naked your picture. Obviously, the song goes sweet. Ah, like, yo. <laughs> Obviously, the song goes sweet, too. You know, but the song, when I dropped the song, everybody loved the song. It was live on Twitter. But, like, yo, that song is a jam, you know? And that's one of my, that's one of the songs I perform most in Nigeria today, called The Police. Still one of my favorite. Great, great. Okay, so let us play Pop Up, right? I I'll would, I would, I would give you one word, or I'll mention one name or something, you know? You tell me yeah. the one word that comes to your mind when you hear that. Okay. So, um, Insta blog. Hey, sorry, come back. I didn't get the what's what's the role. So the game yeah. is called pop up. I would say one yeah. word, right? And you tell me one word that comes to your mind when you hear whatever I say. Okay. One word right? that comes to my mind. Yes. Yes. Okay. Insta blog. I'm a boy. <laughs> Whiskey. Ashao <laughs> Bob Risky Sugar Daddy <laughs> Don't do DK Ah he job drama Don't yeah. be a total she'll come for you Rihanna Oh gosh she's so sexy Sweet. Mother mother of my unborn child uh oh, let's go there. We um, Fireboy. Great singer. Rema. Rema, swag. Swag Prince. Uh, Ivan Chegede. Sexy baby. Sweet. Woo. Woo, let's go. Woo, okay, woo, woo. so first thing you said, Bob Risky, Sugar Daddy. Now, for Bob Risky, he did a video for you, you know, for your song, which was very cute, you know. If you ask yeah. Me. Uh, that's my guy. So that means you guys are pretty close. You know, you guys have a relationship. Yeah, or, you know, that was your guy. I've known Bob Risky. I've known Bob Risky since like 2014. If I tell you I knew Bob Risky, hey, I was driving on Lucky one day. I was driving. So as I was driving, I saw somebody on the other side of the road. The, the person was in a Benz. So, my guy was, I was driving my guy, he told me, ah, na man be that, or na woman be that. I didn't look and say, ah, na man. Na woman be that. You know? 
So, me, out of curiosity, I started following the car because I just wanted to see. <laughs> you know, because me, I never seen that car before Nigeria before at so that time. So, as I was driving, so he saw that he saw that I was chasing his car. Then he wind down, probably think maybe I wanted to say hi or do something. But me now, I brought up my phone to video, to just video the person about me like this. Say, Fuck you, <laughs> You thought you're going to send your, you know, complimentary card or something so you could have. Yeah, that maybe I was. You understand? You thought I was going to holler, you know? They just drove off. Then I followed. I drove with him again. And I went and I said, I'm already. I want you my music video. She was like, he was like, oh, for real? The music video? Okay, no problem. And I said, this is my Instagram already. And I said, okay, this is my Instagram. Now, he now messaged me. Like, what's up? When is the video shoot? Blah, blah. That time, I don't want to do video. I just want, I just want to show my friends that I have someone unique being to do on the road. <laughs> and that's how we became friends. We became friends with them. We, you know. Good. Okay, so um, well, um, good to know you and already have a very cordial relationship, you know. Um, now speaking of Yvonne Jagger, also obviously, you know, there's been a whole lot of madness, you know, on the internet saying, "Oh, you guys, are uh, friends. yeah." But before you go there, where's our timer? You're going to rant. We have a game that we always play. It's called Rant Session, right? Okay. So I'll give a topic. You will rant on it for one minute. Okay? okay, I'll rant on it for one minute. All right, all right. Yes. So. What um what is your what is your point of view or your school of thought on people having best friends of the opposite sex? Even why then even though they're relationships, you ready to go? Okay. Your yeah. time starts now. Yeah, pe people can have best friends of the opposite sex in a relationship. I don't think there's any problem with it. Um but just know the limit because you know you're so that you don't affect or hurt your your partner if you're in a relationship or you're married. You can have your best friend as your best tea as an opposite sex. No, I don't see any problem with it. As long as you know your limit, you know what you should be doing, and that wouldn't affect or cause like a trust issue with your partner. You understand? If you have your best tea and you are telling your partner that you are I'm going to spend the night with my best and your best is opposite sex, which can spend the night with that one, you understand? There are too many besties there for this Lagos. Let's do bestie, bestie with the shift pants. So you the pants, don't you? Bestie, bestie, bestie. Take that table. <laughs> so, so man, but, but like, 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 truth is for you guys, sometimes your best friend is always the opposite sex. For me, I, my best friends are always the female. In university, my best friend, her name is Judith. She's, she works in uh, Dama Bank again. She was my best friend from year one to year five. You understand? I tell her all my problems, everything, relationship issues, female, any girl that I want to toast or girls that I want to shag. She knows them. Probably tells me, okay, why don't you do this? I said, I think she does. She's not feeling you. Leave her alone. And so, you know, she's, she's a female, so she, she can tell me some things that I don't know about the female, you understand? I've always had females as my bestie, you understand? Right from day one. I've always had opposite sex as my bestie. So I, I don't think there's a problem with it. And if I'm in a relationship, I always let my partner know that that girl is my bestie. And I tell her the truth that, okay, this is just my bestie, blah, 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 something like that. No. Okay, that's yeah. cute. Thank you. Time's up. So now let's yeah. discuss just in one minute. You know, one minute. Obviously, the internet went crazy last week and um, last month. You know, when he said you had a bunch of get had you know um, issues. You know, that I, I I mean I know you guys have been friends. You know, um, but then all, apparently bloggers feel otherwise. You know, and she's cleared the air. You know, you've cleared the air a couple times. You know, but just for clarity's sake. You know, you just cleared the air here. You know, so people can at least know that yo, the bunch get is your female bestie, and there is nothing you know, going on, you know, even whatever video it was and all of all this stuff, it's just your G, you guys are homies, so let's go. Man, I don't really, I don't really like to attend to all these bloggers, they usually chat shit, you know, bloggers are just... Now, that who is was, good. Who was, who, was the artist, who was the artist that, was it not Naira Mali that said, I want blogger, blogger. Blogger, blogger, don't let's chat shit. Yvonne, <laughs> Yvonne, Yvonne is my baby, man, that's, that's my G, you've been, you know, there's no story, there's nothing to talk about that one, this guy, just chat this shit, man. Yvonne is my B. Now this, so, yes, great. We're going to ask you 10 fast questions and you answer us quickly. What name would you have wished you were bearing? What name would you have wished your parents gave you? Um, I love Jeffrey. Jeff. Jeffrey. Okay. Um, Jeff. Do you wish, do you wish you had like a baby mama? Do I wish I have a baby mama? Yeah. Or do you have a baby mama? Do I have a baby mama? Uh, mm, mm, uh, I yeah, I, but I don't wish. I don't 
I want to be married. I'm the, I want to have that family type of thing. Yeah. I want to be married. I don't want to make some kind of mistakes for life, but I want to be okay. married. Yeah, I want to be married. That's the, that's the dream. That's the dream. Be married, or one wife, or your kids. Yeah. Okay, shout out to Ivo Jenner. She's in the motherfucking <laughs> building. A round of applause, best friend goes. Support your best friend on Instagram Live. That is how you laptop and phone on time. Ivo Jenner said, you dumped her, you know, from the best friendship thing. So please do better by your best friend, you know. She won't spoil our chat. Ivon, please don't spoil the chat. We'll soon be done. Your best friend can go back. <laughs> Love you so much. Um, third question. Uh, Ivon is, is my baby, it? always. Always, man, she's our baby. You know, your baby, your best friend is our best friend. So you, you, we love you, you Yvonne. Thank you, you can't so much help. for coming if through you know your best friend. If you know Yvonne, you can't help but not like Yvonne. She's a sweet soul. You can't help but not like so. Yvonne. If she's your friend, if she's your friend, she's particular about your goals or whatever you're doing. Yvonne will always call me, Ozzy, how far now? How would you push oh, this yeah, new record Oh, yeah, she will call you Ozzy, now? yeah. That's cute. Can, yeah. Oh. Ozzy, how would you push this new record now? What did it happen this year now, you know? Yvonne is a sweet soul. I don't just, you can't help but like Yvonne, man. Trust me. Sweet soul. I'll write well, for I mean, now, anytime. Now, anytime. now I love Yvonne I because, you know, you said she's a... Hey, he's, hey, he's, hey, he's. Welcome to the building. Hey, he's, you know, but I'm going to roast you real soon. But moving on to the uh, next question. What's the best part of your job? Best part of my job? Best part of my job is actually having to meet people, you know? Having to see people coming to tell you that they love you, people that you don't know from nowhere. That should touch oh your God, heart. I love you already. Oh, I love you already. I love you. People that you don't know from anywhere are ready to just do anything for you. I said, I've been I've been in Atlanta one time and I just landed at the airport. You understand? Then the person where I where the try call go, I couldn't get the person. I don't know for some reason. I can't remember if it was my phone. Something was just wrong. I couldn't get and I messed up like oh, you're already right. Blah blah blah. This guy took me from the airport, paid for my hotel. For that first night, yeah, bro, just chill, relax, you know. Next, so these are things that comes with being a celebrity. My job that I love. You go to different parts of the world, and people just want to help you. People just want to ride for you. People want to, you know, just do everything for you. People just love you because of your music. You know, understand? So that that's something you can't buy. You understand? All something right. you can't buy. Okay, great. So, um, what was the last song you listened to today before coming on this live session? The last song I listened to today. For coming to this live session. Tory Lanez, take. I want to okay. put you in seven positions. Seven positions, the seven in minutes you get, man. You got hey, another of your mind. Let me have music. Don't mess give me a little bit. I'm trying to let you do it because it's fun. That's a fuck me up. Hey. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, nice cream. Nice cream. Nice cream. Yo. That's so. Okay, that means you have been thinking. How you have been, you know, getting ready for quarantine? Next time got me thinking, bro. I was <laughs> home. Quarantine, next time. Shout, shout out to the artwork behind you. Shout out to the artwork behind you. Things. Who? The artwork behind you. Shout out to that artwork behind you. Oh, this is, behind. Trust me, this is art. This is art. This is art. This is yeah, man. Art. Pure, pure, pure unadulterated the art. Pure we love it. representation of the kind of things that I love. That's mm -hmm. it. Alexa, play Terry Lanez. Let go. So, um, let's go. Craziest thing, craziest thing you've ever done for money. Craziest thing I've done for money. Yeah. Um, do you know what they call? Pong -pong? I don't know what how they call it now. When person yeah, man, that's cement and um, this thing. Like a laborer when they build a yeah. house. I did that. Damn. I did that. I'm a Damn. dress. I did that. I did that. I'm I'm a, did that. I'm I did that. It was, it was I'm a dress all cute and sexy. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this was not my. I'll dress all cute and sexy for my house, looking sweet, and I get that change cloth, put that in for it. Also, my parents even know, if my father knew I was there, he's gonna fucking beat me up. That's right. But me, I was looking for money to go to the studio. And my father was not gonna give me studio money. I needed money. So I'll dress up, go to Omoli, where they're building house. Me and my younger brother will take this menial job. I will carry this punk one. They will give us. Hold on, Orezi, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And he said you cannot say the real thing you've done because of money on this live session. You know, I got, I mean, I mean, I mean, I have, I have, I have, I have one or two ideas, you know, what it could be, you know. But then again, <laughs> let us take it as we perform. Already is, yo. I used the um, but anyway, I used moving, much. Moving, <laughs> moving on, we have, we have um, three minutes to go. So, by yeah. the way, already, um, 
please, you have to pick three random people from this comment section, you know, for us to send them charge cards for tonight, you know. Yeah. Call, I'm going to say, I don't know. I'm a, okay, I should pick three so, yeah, random picking, people. You're picking random, yeah, random people, you know. Uh, but prior to that, uh, so what's the one advice you would give your younger self? You know, if you could say, oh, yeah. yeah. One advice I'll give my younger self would be, be, be live your truth. Don't don't be thinking of what people are going to say before you take your decisions. I feel a victim of that, you know. Especially, especially if you want to be an entertainer. Your real self is what you should sell. Don't sell your compromise, the compromised mm. version of you. Sell your truth. Yeah. So be, live your truth. Don't be a resi. Don't be, if you, are, if you are rude, people are not going to like you. If you are a naturally arrogant person, put it out there. That's how you are. Because if you come out and act like you're an angel or you're sweet and someone meets to you and you see your true character, then what are you... It's still a lost battle. Because if I'm out there saying I'm an angel and you meet me and I'm arrogant, you're still going to hate me. In that sense, not everybody that sees you on social media are going to meet you, but some people are going to meet you someday, one-on-one, -on -one, and they're going to see your true self. So you might as well just tell your true self. So who's going to love you? It's going to love you for love who you. you actually are. So when they meet you online or they meet you in real life, they are okay with what they see, the version of you, because that's the version of you that you're selling in the first place. So it's okay. It's just that if you're arrogant, be arrogant with finesse. Be arrogant with finesse. Don't be arrogant and be stupidly rude. Understand? But be arrogant, don't. you know, with finesse. You know, anybody who is big, give on to him. Be that I don't take bullshit type of person. Fine. But that's to people that bring bullshit to you, not to everybody. You get. So that's what I said. I'll tell my younger self, live your truth. Be yourself. Sell your original self. Sell your inner self. It works. It works. After Be yourself. Life, People are going to love after, you. After this live session, please include motivational speaker in your bio, just in case. You know, ah, everybody's always saying that. Everybody's always saying that. You're lucky we didn't, you're lucky we didn't get into politics. We'll be talking from now to tomorrow. It was our resident, Damn, we have two minutes to go. So um, in 30 seconds, tell us three songs. Son